all your favorite products under one roof in Bahrain from our 14 branches at 27 year old Megamart and Macromart Bakery Fresh meat and fish Fruits and vegetables Sweets and snacks, ready to eat foods Dairy products, grocery or consumer goods To have a wonderful shopping experience, please visit your nearest Megamart Macromart branch Megamart and Macromart, full of goodness Good evening dear friends, welcome to yet another episode of BMC Global Live Al Hilal Health World Nothing But Lifestyle. In each episode of this talk show, we bring before you an expert doctor from Al Hilal Hospital to discuss your various health issues. Today we are going to discuss the subject mechanical back pain and we are delighted to have with us Dr. Chetan Kashiwasi from Al Hilal Hospital, Hamath Town. He is from the Department of Orthopedics and his area of expertise include hip and knee replacement and spine and fracture surgeries. So doctor welcome to the show and thank you for joining us today. So doctor you are from the department of orthopedics. What are the uh, services you offer at Al Hilal hospital especially in your department? Now we have actually main hospital is in Mahorak and we have seven uh, centers, seven, seven medical centers. All of them are open 24-7. And we have almost like 15 orthopedic surgeons working in Al Hilal Hospital, specialized in various fields in orthopedics like spines, replacements, trauma, and uh, pediatric orthopedics. And we have a very good uh, operation theater facility in uh, Mohorak branch where we can do most of the orthopedic surgeries. And 24/7, uh, some uh, one of the consultant will be available in. Uh, Mohorak also and in Hamad town I will be available for consultation from morning 9 to 1 and evening 5 to 9 every day other than Fridays. So the we have very good uh, CT scan and MRI machines where we can do excellent MRIs, MRIs and CTs and also we have very good radiologists who can do musculoskeletal ultrasounds which can if we can diagnose many of these sports injuries especially common in in and around Bahrain. So. It's, I think people should take advantage of this. Okay, Doctor, now coming back to our subject, yeah. what is uh, mechanical back pain? Mechanical back pain is something like uh, it's any back pain which is uh, associated with, uh, with the 
bones in the spine, ligaments, the uh, disc and other uh, structures around the spine, which is actually direct following, which, which happens following a direct injury or a acute injury or a cumulative injury. Uh, now, you mentioned about uh, acute injury and cumulative injury, what is the difference between those? Acute injury is anything like uh, say ranging from a simple twist in the back up to a road traffic accident, any injury which happens is an acute injury. A cumulative injury is something like repeated injuries which happens because of like you sit in office for long hours in, in improper position that will hurt your back. You do like weight lifters say like weight lifters they will lift the weights repeatedly, sports injuries and any like work related uh, stress on the spine. They cause repeated injuries to the back, we call it cumulative injuries. Uh, so doctor now we know that there is a mechanical back pain, so is there a non-mechanical back pain also? Actually, we should be more worried about the non-mechanical back pains. Non-mechanical back pains are the pain in the back which are not directly related to the injuries. Uh, it happens uh, because of some other conditions like it may be infection, it can be malignancies, it can be uh, ranging from like congenital anomalies, rheumatisms, even age related arthrosis. It can be like anything and usually these non-mechanical pains are more serious conditions and most of them they may need some uh, medical attention even surgeries and they need more medical attention than the mechanical back pain which are more common but non-mechanical back pains are less common. Uh, so how common is back pain these days? To say like 90 percent of the population they have experienced some amount of back pain in in their lifetime at least one at least once they would have faced the uh, like experience back pain. So, out of which majority of them are mechanical back pains, especially so in the younger age groups, like age group less than 45 years, it will be most of the time mechanical back pains. As the age uh, increases more than 45 years, the non mechanical pain tend to occur more frequently in the uh, more frequently. So, should we consider this a serious condition, doctor? Mechanical back pain, as such, when the topic what you are actually discussing about is not a is not generally a serious condition. Most of the patients with the mechanical back pain, they get better either with treatment, the pain disappears or without treatment also usually most of the times it disappears. But out of which at least like 2 to 5 percent of the patients, they can progress into serious conditions like disc prolapse which can compress on the nerves, they can have instabilities which may warrant some surgical intervention also. So, Yes, maybe 1 or 2 percent of the cases, they go up 2 to 5 percent of the patients, they can go for serious condition, not, but the majority of them are not serious. Okay. What are the tests to be done, uh, doctor, to diagnose back pain? Because the back pain is a symptom of many other diseases also. Yeah, it, the, that's what I'm thinking. If it's, it's a mechanical back pain, then there is no point in doing any, like there is no uh, say what you say like uh, requirement for any imaging studies especially like MRI, X-rays and other things are not really required for the, it has a very limited role in mechanical back pain, but there are any, if there are any like red flag signs which, uh, or which say which shows us that it can be a non-mechanical pain which can be arising out of the some infection, it can be some malignancies, it can be some uh, congenital anomalies. So, they may need, they, that will warrant some uh, investigations including MRI, blood tests and other uh, like even x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, blood tests. So, that with that, the, to rule out any non-mechanical uh, causes, they may need some investigations. All your favorite products under one roof in Bahrain from our 14 branches at 27 year old Megamart and Macromart Bakery Fresh Meat and Fish Fruits and Vegetables Sweets and snacks, ready to eat foods. Dairy products, grocery or consumer goods. 
To have a wonderful shopping experience, please visit your nearest Megamart Macromart branch. Megamart and Macromart, full of goodness. What are the treatment options, doctor, you go for uh, mechanical back pain? In mechanical back pain, the mainstay of uh, the mainstay of treatment in the initial like acute stage when they come with pain following an injury or like acute pain, it will be like analgesics for the pain, muscle relaxations, muscle, muscle relaxants and then the uh, what do you say physiotherapy and rest. This will be the mainstay of treatment in the initial phase. Like once they get out of that initial phase of pain, then it will be actually the uh, lifestyle modification, postural changes, using proper gears during their like say for a weight lifter he has to use proper support for the spine when they are lifting the weights. Although in the workplace there will be a lot of gears which need they need to use proper gears when they are doing in uh, doing their work. So all these things will go a long way in uh, like preventing any further damage to the spine following the initial back pain. So, is surgery a treatment option and some people have the conception that uh, after surgery people will lose their mobility and all, what is your opinion? Surgical management as such in mechanical back pain is rarely required. I would say like only 2 percent of the patients they will need surgery once they land up in like uh, say nerve compression because of disc prolapse or maybe instabilities. And even in these cases the surgeries for mechanical back pain like this prolapse and instability results are really excellent the people don't have to be really worrying about the results such as most of when 99 percent of the patients after surgery they go back to their uh, like previous uh, previous work they don't have to like worry about surgery will happen yes complications are part of any surgery or any treatment so one one percent of the patients can have some minor complication but usually it will not be like anything like losing mobility or anything maybe the recovery may take longer time but then usually they go back to their regular work without any problems uh, so doctor what are the risk factors for back pain can you explain for us the main risk factor for mechanical back pain or in generally common back pain what we are talking about is sedentary lifestyle you sit in office for long hours in, impro in, in, in wrong positions and in improper uh, chairs, you sit for long hours. That is the main reason why we get back pain and most of the patients come with back pain are with sedentary lifestyle. And uh, the other risk factors which I can say is like obesity, overweight which is one of the main reasons people have back pain. And even the treatment as such in ob obese patients are not very uh, like promising. So they need to just lose weight and others like other risk factors are like smoking, alcohol consumptions, lack of like leisure time exercises, just some just daily some activities like walking and other things they can actually uh, prevent lot of problems. So uh, leisure time active, leisure time exercises are also lack of leisure time exercise. These are all the risk factors which I can see. Can we prevent back pain? Let's be practical. Back pain is universal. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say, uh, I wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be practical to say that I will prevent back pain by doing this, I will prevent back pain by doing that. No, back pain is universal, everybody would get that. But yes, if you take care of your back properly, you can prevent lot of complications arising out of these simple back pains which can actually progress into uh, serious conditions. So like uh, disc prolapses or maybe nerve compressions, maybe like instabilities, all these things can be prevented by taking proper care of your back. Simple measures like lifestyle changes, some simple lifestyle changes which can be advised like individual which can be the advice can be tailor made for each patient like how what, what is their work actually according to that we can tailor we can give some tailor made uh, advices for the lifestyle changes, postural changes or even say like uh, weight, weight reduction that will go a long way in uh, in their lifestyle and second other, other uh, thing is like quitting the smoking alcohol consumption all these will are risk factors which which we discussed about earlier you just do that then you will prevent the uh, what say the complications of back pain i wouldn't say you would you would not get the get the back pain if you do all these things but yes the complications you can prevent and you can live with uh, with a very like happy life without going for any like surgical management or anything. 
we can manage back pain and live a normal life. Yes, with back pain. Back pain is universal. I wouldn't like guarantee anyone like you will not get back pain. But yes, you can manage back pain, manage the complications of back pain and prevent them almost like most of the patients we can prevent uh, complications. Uh, so doctor, you explained about mechanical back pain and you said non-mechanical back pain is more serious. Uh, can you explain about non-mechanical back pain in detail? Uh, for today's topic, it would be out of context, but then yes, they should be really worried about, um, people should be more worried about non-mechanical back pains and the awareness about non-mechanical back pain sh should be there in everyone. So, we c just because most of the back pains are mechanical, we cannot neglect. I would still suggest if you have back pain, which is not getting better with simple medicines or rest, you should consult a doctor. Maybe there is some non-mechanical causes. Even even nowadays, even in young patients, like uh, even in like 35, 40 years, we are seeing malignancies and so many things. If, especially if you have some family history of uh, malignancies, any pain which uh, malignancies, you should consult a doctor. Maybe there is something wrong. You should you should just consult the doctor and uh, take an opinion. And other things like uh, if the pain is lasting not more than four weeks. Any pain in the back which lasts for more than four weeks, I would say is not good. You should just uh, consult a doctor and the mechanical pain should not last more than four weeks. It can last, but then most of the times, no. It will just, it should be something, either it is going in for some complications like disc prolapse or maybe nerve compression or May, there may be a totally different cause. It was not the injury which has caused the pain. Maybe there is something else. Maybe she, maybe the patient has some congenital anomaly which needs some attention. Maybe there is some inflammatory arthritis like rheumatism or maybe there is some uh, because of the wear and tear there may be some osteophytes which are pressing on the nerves. So they need a lot of attention. It's not that every time you need surgery but then if you can identify those problems early Maybe we can avoid a surgery in non-mechanical pain also. So we should be aware that there are not all back, back pains are that simple. Most of them are yes, but not all of them. Out of maybe, if you say, if, if I see maybe 50 patients, out of which only one may be having non-mechanical pain. But then if we can pick up that one patient early, they can, the, they can have a healthy life. Maybe they can prevent complications, we can prevent a surgery, so it, it goes a long way. So the people should be aware that they, if, there is, if they have a back pain, they should just consult. It's always better. Don't neglect backache. Okay. Now before we wrap up, what is your advice for our viewers? Don't neglect any back pain. Even if it is any simple back pain because of injury also, don't neglect. Especially so if it is going beyond three to four days or if it is not getting better with medicines, please consult doctors. So, and especially Al Hilal, we are, we are available 24 hours in all the centers. So, take advantage and take advice. Okay, thank you doctor. Thank you for joining us yeah. and giving us so much information about mechanical back pain. Yeah, thank you once again. So friends, back pain is universal. But with proper lifestyle changes like weight management and exercise, we can manage our back pain. So take care of your health, be happy and be healthy always. Th till we meet again next week, this is Jessila Mujib signing off. Good night.